guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is bukumi bk Kram. so guys we're going to be checking out amedi that set a new record and leaves christians shocked wow what could that be let's find it out now i have learned that the name of muhammad was not not actually muhammad but his name was abul qasim mm -hmm. could you please tell me what age was mm. muhammad in which age was muhammad when he became the title Muhammad because it is a very vital question is what which age when Muhammad was born you see as an infant a little baby his grandfather Abdul Muttalib took him to the Kaaba mm. you know the was Abraham a place, and yeah. his son Ishmael had Abraham and Ishmael mm. had built and he presented this infant child to the leaders of the Quraysh and they asked him what have you named him and he said, Muhammad. This is a very novel name. It's something new. We never had such a name before. He says, I want my grandchild to be praised throughout the world. Because Muhammad literally means the praised oh, one. So from birth, the first one. name that was given to him was Muhammad. Oh. Now this expression, Abul Qasim, comes later in history. The Arabs have a system. You see, that if you are the father of a child called Qasim, so you are Abul Qasim, the father of Qasim. Mm. You are Abul Ibrahim, the father of Abraham. Mm. But you have your own name. So this is a respectful way of calling people by mm. Abu Bakr. It's not his name. You see, but he said, now you are the father of Bakr. Mm. So this is Abul Qasim means the father of Qasim. Mm, okay. So I just want to read a bit more of Matthew, where Jesus speaks again about the three days. This is just a strong, this is from a translation of the Bible called the NIV. It's Matthew chapter 16, verse 21. And it says, From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hand of the elders, chief priests, and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. And so I think when you read all of it, he is saying that the three days I'm going to die. There are, I've got some other references up here as well as to those, but they're all fairly similar where they talk about Jesus dying. Um, I just want to know what you say that, because there are many verses in the Bible, I don't know how much time I want to take up here, but where Jesus says, you know, I, I did die. No, my son, you have to agree with me that what Jesus was talking about, the sign of Jonah, mm. that sign was a miracle. Sign means a miracle. You have to, it's not a road sign. Stop, yield, go. It's not a it's road sign. There were no road signs in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago. So he's not talking about road signs. He's talking about a miracle. The Jews want a miracle from him. Not a road sign. So Jesus said, my miracle is that of Jonah. And then what the miraculous thing about Jonah is that we expect him to die three times over and he didn't die. You see, if I had a gun and I lose my temper and put six shots through you, to your heart, and it is shattered and you die, is that a miracle? Is that? But those six shots tearing your heart to pieces and you laugh. <laughs> it's a miracle? Yes. Yes, that's a miracle. That's a miracle. Six bullets I put through your heart and you still laugh. <laughs> that's a miracle. I'll be terrified of you. Do you know that? If that happened, I'll be terrified of you. <laughs> so, Jesus is talking that, look, the miracle mine is that of Jonah. What happened to him is going to happen to me. What happened to Jonah? We expect him to die. We expect him to die at every step. If he died, it's not a miracle. Jesus if what they tell us about him, he also is supposed to die. He is expected to die. If he died, it's not a miracle. Mm, mm, mm. If he died, what they did to him, and if he died, it's not a miracle. If he didn't die, it's a miracle. So I'm asking, he said, I will be like Jonah. Jonah is alive, you agreed, and Jesus is dead. And that is in your language of the Englishman, it is unlike. In Zulu, I'm asking the Zulus, Goguba Chengo Jonah. He said, just like Jonah. So I'm asking the Zulu, is this Jengo Jonah or Ngai Jengo Jonah? Oh. Is this like Jonah or unlike Jonah? And they say, it's unlike Jonah. I'm asking the Africana, want Suas Jonah. You know, like Jonah, Suas Jonah. I'm asking the Africana, is this Suas Jonah or Ni Suas Jonah? In Arabic, he says, 
يا معلم نريد أن نرى منك آية فأجاب وقال لهم جيل شرير وفاسق very strong in Arabic this statement of Jesus is very very strong compared to the English is jilun this is the bible is written by the christian by the way not me jilun shirirun wa fasikun yatlubu ayatan wa la tuta lahu ayata illa ayata yunan an nabiyyu li annahu kama kana yunanu fi batn al huti thalathat ayamin wa thalathat layalin hakaza the word i was looking for was hakaza just like that mm. so i'm asking the arab christian is this hakaza or la hakaza mm. Jesus and Jonah. Jonah is it hakaza just like that or la hakaza uh-huh. he said no it's la hakaza so come on you prove now that this statement is is is, is a revelation from god mm. the holy ghost inspired matthew to to write it down then it is proving that jesus is a, if i was a jew i'll never accept jesus mm. as a muslim i believe in jesus as the messiah one of the mightiest messengers as a muslim but as a jew i said look this man was put to the test and he failed again and again he's failing according to the test that he himself lays on himself he is a failure he is an imposter mm. and as an imposter we killed him i would have said that if i was a jew but as a muslim i say i believe that he was a true messenger of god and you have misunderstood mm. everything mm. you have misunderstood next question please Thank you, sir. May I have more than one question if I go back? Yes, yes. Thank you. Mr. Didad, if you quote Acts 2.22 where Peter says that Jesus did by, the, by God's power the miracles, which is right, then why would you not accept what Peter says in, later in the book of Acts, particularly 4 verse 12, uh, about under no other name is anyone saved except by Jesus? Thank you. Uh, you're not trying to prove by that that Jesus is God, I hope. Uh, no, I'm trying to prove that, uh, that if you take one source, then why not? No, no, I would be prepared to accept that. I said, look, he's talking to the Jews. Ye men of Israel, you Jews. Because Jesus came for the Jews. And in his time, Jesus' time, there was no other way. It was identical to in the time of Moses. In the time of Moses, we said Moses was the way to God. The children of Israel, they thought it through the golden calf. God didn't like it. He said, look, this is what I want. You have to go through Moses. Whatever Moses tells you about God, you have to accept. In the time of David, David was the way to God. In the time of Solomon, Solomon was the way to God. In the time of Jesus, Jesus was the way to God. In the time of Muhammad, he is the way to God and for mankind for eternity. So in every dispensation, the man of God is the firstborn of God. He is the representative of God. And as such, you must listen to him. That's what it means. So I accept that. That the people, the Jews, they had no other way because there was no Muhammad there. If they wanted to follow Jesus, they must listen to now Peter, he is represented. Peter says, look, this is what Jesus wanted you to believe, that he is your Messiah. Follow him, follow him. Salvation is yours. Thank you. Mr. Dinat, could you please explain how God could save the world as the New Testament claims Mm. if Jesus was not God coming in the flesh? Okay. Mm, nice question. Let me first correct my brother Shurosh about Bismillah Rahman Rahim. You see, Bismillah Rahman Rahim means in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Allah. Allah, who is most gracious, most merciful, and he's those God's 99 attributes. That is Allah. He's not 99 gods, he's not three in one. Whereas the Christian formula is in the name of the Father, the and, son, and the Son, and, the, and the Holy Ghost. Okay. Three. <laughs> How does God save the world? That was the question. How does he say? There is only one way. And the way is believe in God and do good deeds. This is what Jesus says. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, most assuredly, I'm telling you, except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Unless you are better than the Jew, there is no heaven for you. That is the way of salvation. (laughs) Wow. Interesting. So, 
the first question was asked about Prophet Muhammad's name being different from the normal name we know as Muhammad, but Amelita explained everything to us how the grandfather named him. Well, in all of this video, what I can say is that Amelita always know how to give an answer to some questions. No matter how you want to try to let him know that this is it, but we still let you know that no, it is this way. It is this way. So uh, the way he always answer his question with confidence is something that always amazed me so much. In which no matter how tough the question is he's always ready to give you an answer and the answer will just you know keep you quiet you don't know what to say again and um this really opened my eyes to, to learn just imagine i spoke about jonah that jonah did not die after being in the fish for three days and now said something that now, if Jonah can stay alive, but Jesus was crucified, that means Jesus is dead. No, Jesus is still alive till now. Yes, he was crucified, but he's still alive. He's still doing wonders. That's what I would say about that one. So, they asked a lot of questions, and I was just like, hmm, this man, this man, the way he answered questions, he really amazed me with it. Like, <laughs> he's not wrong. At the same time, those people that asked those questions were not really wrong because I'm sure they also did their research before asking such questions. I sure did one for Muhammad. Uh, I'm sure that man did his research well to let us know that Muhammad was not actually given the name Muhammad from the beginning when he was given birth to. But I made it that cleared our doubts. But you know, that I'm saying that I mean that is not wrong. The man is not wrong. I'm sure the man did his research for him to ask. If he didn't do his research, he won't ask such questions. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.